Hi guys and welcome back to Hello. another Costco Business Center haul shop with me and haul. Um, if you guys are new, my name is Crystal and this is my husband. Jorge. Um, we're gonna do some shopping inside. It's been about a month exactly since we've been here, so it's time to restock again. So if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Um, also too, if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos and wanna see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys wanna keep watching more Costco hauls, I have a playlist you guys can check out. I have a playlist to Costco hauls, different stores of where we shop, shop with me, and even I just made a playlist for the Costco Business Center. So we want to say um, we're going to go inside. We definitely still need our mask here. We live in Southern California. You still need your mask. Um, I get a couple of questions that where if they have a Costco business in their center. Um, the way you can look it up is just a simple Google search and see if you have one in your area. I think I saw that they only have 17 in the United yeah. States. That probably could have been update. I've heard some people in the comments also say that there's getting one rebuilt in their area so definitely look it up this one is in southern california um, and see if they have one in your area it is much different than a regular costco double the size you do not need a different membership you can just use your regular one that's what we're using yep. you don't have to have a business license or even mm -hmm. own a store mm -hmm. as long as you have uh, a need for groceries you're more than welcome in here we do have a family of five that's why we have a huge huge haul but we are also purchasing items for family members my in-laws so all of these groceries are not just for us and they do ask you if you have a business they'll ask for a card so they could give you a discount i guess or something oh, okay or, so you could get like maybe for your taxes or something but, we, okay. but we, they asked me already but i i don't have it so i'm like no it's just for our home oh, okay then <laughs> everything's fine and then of course i will add the prices and stay tuned at the end of the haul i always add the total the grand total exactly what it is so if that's something you guys are interested go ahead and check that out i also get tons of questions of what do i do with the food how do we um how long does it last i'll be answering those questions during the haul but if you guys want to see more cooking stuff Stuff and what I actually do with the food if you guys are interested you guys can check out um, on my channel there's different videos like dinner recipe. ideas recipe videos um, and what we do with that if that's something you're interested if you guys are more interested in like family vlogs we do have a family channel called family adventures and we want to thank everyone who's already gone over there and subscribe we post more behind the scenes and more of our family because i know a lot of you guys enjoy that and we just want to welcome and also thank everyone who takes the time to watch these hauls i know these hauls have um, lately gotten more attention so just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch and join us and come along with us yes okay so let's go inside the store now <laughs> i know they're fully stocked today. A lot of supplies that we're seeing. Back to Toilet Paper Castle. Oh, sorry, bumpy road. Yeah, so a lot of toilet paper and paper towels. Okay, we're gonna go in here and get what we need. And then it's been a while we haven't seen um, alcohol. It's a 70% one, but hey, we'll take it. We need it. And then he's getting the hand soap. It's been a while too. Last I month they didn't have it, huh? limit of five of these. Oh, wow, that's a good deal. And the alcohol only limit of two. Perfect. Should get one for your mom too then, no? The alcohol? Yeah, she uses a lot of alcohol. She usually uses the 90% though, yeah. but it's better than nothing. And she's always used it. And then they did have the dial soap, which is that orange one, but I wasn't a fan of it. I really like this one, honestly. Okay, and then we're gonna get some peppers again because we really like them. We make so many dishes with them. They're on sale for five eighty. And we're just getting some strawberries because the girls love strawberries. Those only last about one to two days each carton. So we pick up four while we're here. My in-laws do like them, but they don't eat them right away, so I just pick up one for them. Whatever she doesn't use it, she just freezes it. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I need, the whole part, yes. And they're on sale right now because they're in season. That's when I normally buy them. If they're not in season, I typically try not to buy them because one, they're not gonna taste good, and two, they're very expensive. So last time I showed you guys the 
the fridge of there, the dairy one. This is the uh, fridge of all the fruits and veggies. They have all of it like this. This is all the tomatoes. It is huge in here. Perfect for a hot day. But it is big in here. It has so many rows of things. Yeah, so we got the cucumbers. We really like those. Um, I used to get the smaller one, but Estrella said no. My youngest, she prefers those. And then we got blueberries. My tips for berries is to always look at the bottom to make sure they're good to go. I know right now you don't want to be touching too many things, so we just try our best by looking at the top and check it. And if it's good, we touch it, we grab it already. <laughs> and then we did get a watermelon because that's a must. Yeah, but it's pretty big in here. This is all the lemons. Full box of avocados. Oh yeah, I've always wanted to film this and I don't. Full bag, full box of avocados. $29.99. Yeah, we get limes. Lemons, lemons. Okay. Lemons, very, very juicy. So this part, this is still part of the fridge of the fruit and veggies. Very, very huge still. All of that right there. And then all of that. It's very big in here. That's why I like coming here. Then we're gonna get some spinach, great for salads and smoothies. So then we're also getting the spring mix and the romaine hearts. We're actually gonna get another one because usually we split it with my in-laws, but we ran out too quick, so we're gonna get two right now. They sell a lot of like things pre-cut and spices like ginger, garlic. And then at this Costco, they carry the 1% milk. So my in-laws uh, drink that one. So we're gonna be getting that one. Um, they have the fat free. They have so many kinds of milk, lactose free, organic. I know in the other Costco, the regular one, they do carry some of these, but some of them they have discontinued in our area. They have the reduced fat and then the, the whole milk. And they also have um, coconut and oat milk and almond milk as well, even rice milk. I'm gonna get some ham. The cool thing about this refrigerator, it has sections and sections of specialty. Deli meat, special um, cheeses that you need milks yogurts it's each a whole roll so that's really nice mm -hmm. special kinds of meats and now we're getting the sparkling water they have countless and countless aisles i think they have like two aisles worth of sparkling water so the difference here is that they don't have like a section for fresh meat um or like seafood everything's frozen so they also have a huge selection of frozen stuff. A lot of good yummy stuff. Not the healthiest, but they have options. Oh yeah, I don't think I've showed this before. Maybe I have, but they have different kinds of soups. They have a broccoli cheddar, a tomato basil, clam chowder chicken noodle soup what do they have alfredo oh alfredo sauce all frozen i think this would be convenient for like loaded potato loaded potato that sounds good for like a store i didn't see them did you see them i didn't see the sweet corn that we like so i'm just gonna pick up a frozen one they taste pretty good and i actually just ran out comes with a big pack so we're gonna get some of that this is what our grocery cart is looking like and i'm so sorry i'm not filming as much costco is pretty yeah. crowded and okay. I don't want to film anybody, I don't want to be rude, and I definitely don't want to get kicked out of here. Um, so, so sorry if I didn't film as much, but I definitely will be filming the haul because I still have to get a lot of stuff. Okay, I haven't seen that before. It's a variety snack box, snack box and it comes with different um, snacks from Costco. That's pretty cool. So they have lots of aisles of individual bags of chips. They don't carry the big ones, but they do carry like sunflower seeds. They have like four or five rows of just snacks. It's pretty crazy. And then a lot of energy drinks, sports drinks. They have tons and tons of aisles. They used to sell popcorn kernels here, but not anymore. A lot of snacks. I think all these, all these seeds is because of the baseball yeah. season. Well, it makes sense. But they've always had them, haven't they? A lot of nuts. The cracker checks, no, that's what I'm saying. So far what the cart is buy, looking like. Buy me some peanuts and cracker checks, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're right there. I always forget to get them, but we definitely need some honey graham crackers. My girls like to snack on them on their own or just like that. 
but this full aisle right here is full of crackers and snacks and cookies all the the good stuff all the snacks Oh, well, this is more like the crackery stuff, and over here is more like the savory stuff. They also have these. Who knows these? I grew up eating these raspberry, and then they also have the strawberry one. They're so, so good. And I believe the box is $8.99, which is really good, but we're not going to get them. Nutty Butters, those are so good. My kids love these, but I only buy them when they're on sale. But I haven't bought them in a while. But those are also really good. Okay. Oh, the moon pies. They also sell the moon pies. Lots of different kind of pop parts. Goldfish. Oh, and then they also sell the poppy sticks. My kids love those. They have the chocolate one and the strawberry flavor here. And then this side is more of like protein bars, granola bars, um, little snacks like that, and then protein shakes. They don't have the caramel one. I've noticed they only carry the chocolate right now, the vanilla, and also the coffee one. Oh, let me see. Those are the... My sister-in-law bought these, and they're so good. But they don't carry them in the regular Costco, only the business center. They're so, so good. I'm going to have this. Right? Yeah, just one, because then we're eating a lot so a lot of dry fruit and nut section protein bars and shakes they have massive aisles just dedicated to these certain items this is the premier protein the cafe latte i like it but i don't know if my husband does it's okay it's pretty good but i do prefer the caramel one so i'm not gonna get it here it does taste good oh this is like the chapstick and tom's aisle I yeah, I like that they sell the chapsticks like that. I haven't seen this aisle before. Clear eyes, really good on stock. Visine. It's like their medis medicine. Alka Seltzer Halls. Michael. Michael. They got everything in stock. And then I'm not kidding you when I say they have dedicated aisles. This is a whole dedicated aisle just to gum. So we'll stock up and get some stuff. Over there is the entrance more towards the right. But this is where they have like all their, like that toaster oven over there. If you guys can see it that we really like. You can guys can see it in the other hall. A lot of their machines like for businesses like Vitamix and blenders. Here is a huge aisle of just candies. Great to fill up piñatas and stuff like that. We were able to get a few candies last month's haul. Somebody just randomly left a cart. We're not getting candy right now, but just showing you guys. Sour Patches, the watermelon flavor, was the bomb.com. My favorite one. They have so many of them here. Last month we got those bites. Those are so good. But all the stuff the kiddos like. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. But two huge, two or three aisles. No, it's actually like four of just candy. Okay, so this is the part of the Costco haul, and as you guys saw, um, we do we did find toilet paper. They had plenty of them, so that was great that that was in stock. Um, this month we got again the Funyun chips. This is just a box of just Funyuns. It does have a lot of them, but last month we did purchase it, and we gave a lot of it to family, um, a lot of my nieces and nephews. So that was good to have on hand, and we decided to purchase another box this month again. And like that we can split it up with all of our um our family that we have i didn't even see that you got those oh you're sneaky okay and then we also picked up i believe we picked up six of this sparkling water we tried it here once a couple months ago and we really enjoyed it they only have two flavors the lemon and the original one but we just got the lemon one because we really like that flavor i picked up a couple of them because we all like sparkling water in our family and i also picked up some for my in-laws because they really enjoyed it and then we got those hawaiian chips i didn't even see when my husband picked those up but those chips are really good um those are great for just a snack or on the side as well as another good snack we picked up these mini pretzels um they're 60 on the gold pack so it's a really good deal that we got them for my girls really like them and i also like them i like to dip them with um hummus so we decided to get uh individual bags just for at the house so when we're 
on the go we're not really going anywhere but when we like to go to the park or something just to walk it's a really good snack to have and then i got the one percent milk my mother-in-law uh requested that and then we got the ritz and the honey graham crackers i always forget to pick up those honey graham crackers and again those are just a great snack to have for my girls i like to put some whipped cream on there and put it in the freezer and it's like a really good dessert um the ritz just on their own my daughter likes it with cream cheese or also with soup um they're really good no don't worry baby and then we got to put creeks on my best friend requested this for all the kiddos um so we're gonna have that and then we picked up a second pack of toilet paper. You're not allowed to get two, but we do have two memberships, so we're allowed to pick up another one for my dad. And then over there, my husband uh, wanted the hostess, so he got some of that snacky, snacky stuff. And then vegetable oil, we did need some for us and then some for my mother-in-law. And then I also picked up these wheat thins. It's been a while since I've had them, but I thought it would be a great uh, alternative instead of using the Ritz. Obviously the Ritz are way better, but those are gonna be better for me in points. And then back over there, uh, we did pick up the Ritz with cheese. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, okay, thank you, babe. The Ritz with crackers with cheese, that's another snack. We're running a little low on snacks. And then we were able to find the soft soap. They had two choices. They had the soft soap or the dial soap. And honestly, I do prefer this one. They had it, so we got it. Um, there's a limit of how many of the soaps? One? Five five of them but we nobody else in our family that i've asked needed this so i just picked up one um so we got the alcohol i haven't seen rubbing alcohol in such a long time i always like to have rubbing alcohol uh in the house and it's just i haven't been able to find it and so does my mother-in-law those were a limit of six as well right or two yeah no. i don't remember but we ended up getting uh two of them one for my our family and one for my in-laws and then we found these coffee filters which were a really really good deal and if you know me we love our coffee but i'm going to split that with my mother-in-law and then we picked up some eggs as well this also gets split up with our with my mother-in-law we just helped them out my in-laws and then um my husband found these mint toothpicks that are really really good deal and then i also picked up this um salmon burgers this is the first time that i picked this up i've never tried this before but i've seen these in a couple of videos and they look and they sound really good but i'm not sure if my kiddos or my husband are gonna like it so it is a pack of 12 so we'll see how they are the good thing that they go in the freezer and then we also picked up some prego sauce it's definitely been a while since i've picked up um spaghetti sauce or just any sauce in general for pasta i usually make my own but I decided to get one this month because I just think it's going to be easier just to have it on hand just in case. I haven't had a chance to make the marinara sauce. Even though it's really easy, it just takes a little bit of my time. So I just decided to buy some just to have just in case. And then my mother-in-law requested this mocha cappuccino. She likes to have this. Um, she blends it in the blender and she really likes it. So I got her that one. She asked if I could purchase it here because it is much cheaper um, here than it over there. And then I'm so sorry we're close to an airport. So there's a lot of airplanes going on going on passing by and then we picked up the organic seedless grapes the green ones my kids prefer the green ones so we just stick to the green ones last month i did get the red ones they were on sale they ate them but i've noticed that they do prefer the green ones so we just got the green ones and then we also picked up some apples oh oranges we always pick up these oranges here at the costco business center they're much cheaper and they're really really good they're nice and juicy you guys can check out my what's for breakfast and see them and then apples did we get one or two big okay we have two yeah last month i think i purchased one and then i had to go to another costco and purchase another one because it's just my kids love apples so we got um two bags of the fuji apples the fuji apples are just much cheaper than the gala ones and either or my kids like but we do like the i love the pink lady ones those are so good but they are a little expensive so if they're not on sale i just always go for that and then i'm not sure if i mentioned it inside the store but i picked up two things of romaine hearts one is for us which i usually split with my in-laws but we picked up two because we just ran out so quick so um one for us and one for them and then my mother-in-law also requested for the beef chorizo sometimes they have this and sometimes they don't or they change brand or packaging so we saw it and we got it but we have some at home so i'm just getting it for my in-laws and then also to the cucumber last month they had them individually they weren't wrapped so we didn't get it from the business center we ended up getting it at another one um, but this one again for salads or for um for just snacking on their own my youngest loves it with with ranch 
but my oldest loves it with lemon and tahini, which is just like a like a spicy uh, little uh, seasoning that you can add and then I went and got these frozen corns I was looking for the ones that they have in the refrigerator section it's the sweet corn they're like a white corn we really like that um, but we also will pick up these because these are really good to have on hand uh, just as a quick side dish and then we picked up these eggs my aunt requested um, these organic eggs so we picked up those for her then last month we tried these and we made um, like steak sandwiches with them but they're really really good they're much smaller than this other bread that we purchased before at Costco it's a really good deal we decided to get two because we're actually taking this uh, to some family's house to have some sub sandwiches um, just you know for a little fun time with the kiddos so I think that would actually be really good uh, to have this kind of bread instead of just a regular sandwich bread it just makes it really nice and then I do apologize for the background noise it's just this is the best I can do I'm so sorry um, been just trying to film this haul and try to get everything back home as quick as possible um, over here we got the um, buns and instead of getting the regular buns which we usually get those we decided to get the sesame seeds ones my mother-in-law has been asking she wants like just um, hamburgers at home love eating hamburgers and tacos but nothing beats homemade tacos or homemade hamburgers so we picked up uh, some hamburger buns and then of course we got some uh, baby spinach this is always something that we have in our hauls. I like to mix it in with my salad, but also too in smoothies um, and also in pancake batter. I have a video, I will put it down below, on how I get my kiddos to eat the spinach just making green pancakes. It's such an easy hack. It's just the secret is that they don't know I make the pancakes with them. But my youngest loves adding spinach to her smoothie. She has no problem eating that. And then uh, same thing, the spring mix. This is just easy, quick. For salads and that's mainly what I use it for or wraps and then um, we picked up some blueberries my girls like snacking blueberries or we'll add it to yogurt or to cottage cheese um, or even uh, just snack on it on its own and then we also picked up this extra lean ham I didn't pick this up for us this is actually for my mother-in-law as well as the queso panela they have so many different varieties of cheeses here at this costco i've showed you guys last month what it looks like inside and i filmed a little bit today inside but yes definitely they have a huge variety of cheeses and this is queso panela which is similar to queso fresco but it's a little bit different in taste and it's actually really good she requested this and this is great for sandwiches to eat on its own or eat it like in a torta like a bread like that Italian roll with just some aguacate mm -mm -mm. really good and then this is for my poor husband um, he needed some Tums and this is a good size of Tums I've been suffering of carbons I don't know why oh, probably all that good food um, anyways this is chili mango my sister-in-law bought this last month and we tried some and it is so so good sorry no it's okay babe. And then we got two things of bananas. Sometimes I'll get one, sometimes I'll get two. Uh, the times that I get one, they finish so quick. And the days that I stock up and bring an extra one is when nobody wants to eat them. But the good thing is that if nobody wants to eat them, you can definitely just peel them, chop them up, or put them whole, freeze them. And they're great for smoothies or even making some banana nut bread. Everybody always enjoys my husband putting the things inside the trunk. <laughs> How he assembles everything. This time we're using bags. So. Yeah. So then here we got four things of strawberries. My kids, I get questions, how long does this food last? It really depends. Some of it will last a few days. Like this strawberry will only last me a good uh, one or two days. Um, but something like the chips will last a whole month. Toilet paper, a little over a month. Um, it just really depends, but I will try to make a video on how the things last and how we also put these groceries away for the next uh, next month for sure. Um, but yeah, the strawberries, my kids love strawberries and when they're on season, they taste good and they're, they're cheaper. So we stock up and we get four because they will literally eat these on their own. They'll eat it with their breakfast, with their lunch or with their dinner. So we'll get three of these for us and then one for my in-laws. And then we also picked up some um, aguacates. The Costco Business Center, at least the one in my area, the aguacates have been really, really good. Um, very creamy and um, not too expensive. And we really like it for our dinner or my oldest really likes it. Her and I, we really like it in our avocado toast. And then... Lemons. 
I think. No, I'm just waiting for the. Okay, once again, I'm so sorry. I have to keep pausing because there's a lot of airplanes passing by. Um, anyways, so we did pick up some lemons. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but the lemons are great for soup, um, for teas, for pretty much anything. But mainly my daughter loves it in her, and we like it in our tacos or in our soup. Or if we make guacamole with the leftover aguacates, we'll like to um, have lemons. And those are really good, even for lemonade. And then I haven't uh, found the cuties or the halos. I think they're out of season already. So we picked up these, and we'll see if they're good because maybe these mandarin oranges are not in season anymore and i don't like buying fruit if it's not in season so we'll see um last month i also picked up these peppers great deal um they only have the yellow the orange and the red but i was able to make so many dinners with them uh so i really like having that on hand and because i had them it made me want to use them even more so they were great for many different dishes dishes that we made for dinner and then of course we cannot leave costco without getting their watermelon the price for the watermelon has not gone down it's usually 3.99 by the summer because they're in season but we had to pay a little extra it's it is what it is uh normally during this time like i said they're usually 3.99 but i believe they were 5.99 right yeah the price will be up there all of the prices should be up there but if you have a question let me know in the comments and then i haven't picked up my girls yogurt in a while they usually just like strawberry so i always have to pick it up at a different store but they specifically asked for this activia one that has uh strawberry it has vanilla and peach i usually like getting it when they're on sale but they requested it, so I just they got that for at them. Your house. Oh, at my aunt's house? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought it was at your mom's house. No. Right. Okay, so they tried it there, so that's why they wanted to get it. And then they'll like to add fruit on top of it and even granola. Um, I have a video on how to make homemade granola. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down below. So this is the part of the hall. Um, my husband put everything in cooler bags that need it. We're actually headed to another Costco, so stay tuned. This isn't the end of the haul. I'll try to film in the other one if I can. If not, you guys will see the haul. And stay tuned till the end of the video so that you guys can see the grand total of the haul. But this one, I honestly feel like we did such a good job. We got what we needed and we didn't have to spend a lot of money. Okay, so we are at the other Costco. I could not film inside because it was just so packed, but we got... Uh, some ruffles this is we're gonna take this to some family and then we also picked up we hardly see these huh the sun yeah. chips the garden salsa so we decided to get a bag of that when we get the big bag honestly that's the only flavor everyone really goes for and then we picked up some doritos nacho cheese that is also going to some family my daughters love the doritos so that's a win-win and then that's actually for me um i've been looking for a makeup wipe to like a makeup wipe remover i've never tried this but i've seen this and i'm really excited that they had it here so i'm gonna give that a try my skin is very sensitive and i have a hard time finding uh makeup removers and then each time we come to costco i always forget to pick these up i've never tried them but i always hear good stuff about them they were actually on sale and i missed the sale it's the downy unstoppables And then first time I picked myself up some sunglasses. I love the shape of them. They're so cute. So I'm definitely going to give those a try. I definitely need some. I'm used to buying them at the 99 cent store at the Dollar Tree. And they're always breaking. So let's see if Costco comes through this time. Ah, another buy for me. <laughs> I normally don't buy stuff for me. But my husband convinced me to get these shoes. These are the, what are they, Adidas? Um, and they're a good sale at Costco. And they're cute color. And they are very comfy. I didn't try them on, but they felt really soft. Another buy for me. Just definitely, he is spoiling me today. Um, it's, these birthday, it's your birthday, right? Come Almost, on. yes. Okay. <laughs> but he picked out these cute little booties, and I love them. They're so cute. They're perfect for going out, like a date night, even though that's not happening. This Costco haul is pretty much our date night, right? Yes. Date day. So we got that and I thought those are really cute. They also had them in a brown color, like a tan. So if you guys are looking for little booties like that, perfect for the fall coming up. I just thought they were too cute not to pass. This is a great buy for me. Yes, that is a great buy for him. These are the sole, they're micheladas, right? 16 ounce micheladas. Yes. And these are a great deal because usually he buys these individually. So these will last a long time and he can also share them with his brothers. And then we found a bag of rice. This is actually for my mother-in-law. She requested some rice. I actually bought a pack of this back in January and I still have it and we eat a lot of rice now. Um, well, 
I stopped last year, but then we started eating it again. Um, so yeah, this is for my mother-in-law. Definitely next month, I'll have to go buy a pack. And then we found some iced tea. My mother-in-law needed some. We usually get about two a month. Um, so I picked up two for us and two for my in-law. So that's four of them. And then we definitely picked up two for us because sometimes they don't have them. It's not like before. You're not sure you need a stock up of a certain item. This is the first time I get some, I think it's collagen peptides. Um, that's going to be for me to add to smoothies. My sister-in-law takes this and she says that it's really good for you. So I'm going to give that a try. It is tasteless. Unflavored, I'm sorry. So I'm going to add that to smoothie. She also adds it to hot coffee, she told me. Hopefully next time I could get it on sale if I like it. They usually do go on sale. Ooh. Yes, the winner winner of the day and the winner is this guy right here. Yes, yes. it is dark. <laughs> it got dark so fast. Um, my husband was a winner and he found the Lysol disinfectant spray. So thank you so much for finding that. We've been on a hunt for these. We usually get them every other month just because I like to have them in stock. And I ran out in February. I had one last one i found it in the closet and we've been saving it but we were able to get two of them not one but two guys. uh there is a limit to one per card and my husband has one i have one but we are giving one to my in-laws because they really need it and they haven't had any luck finding it and then we also got some bug repellent because the mosquitoes are coming and they're coming for our legs estrella i think is allergic to them oh my goodness because you were right outside there. the other day oh I'm not going to show that because you're right next to the license plate. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, so, yeah. So, we picked that up because my Estrella, my five-year-old, I, I highly believe she's allergic to them. Because um, every time that we're, she gets a mosquito bite, her leg swells up. And I have to put, like, an antibiotic cream. So, I feel like, yeah, that's definitely an allergic reaction. Her and my niece are the same way. Um, so, we picked up that. And then we picked up some Hello Panda chocolate because this haul took a long time to get. We had to deliver a lot of groceries that we purchased for family members um and we took longer than when we need it so we're gonna what do we call it like bribe the girls <laughs> hopefully they're not too mad at us that we took too long they're not really used to uh us going out um they're always with us but right now i just don't feel comfortable bringing them to costco uh so yeah and then we got some cottage cheese that's estrella's favorite and also mine uh, my husband likes it too so we have that for breakfast or snacks and then i picked up some monk fruit sweetener i haven't purchased this one in a while but i'm running pretty low and i don't know when is the next time i usually find it at grocery outlet one pound for five bucks but this is almost two pounds not that bad of a deal so i decided to pick that up i have a couple of snacks that i want to make and then i am yes, completely so out of ibuprofen and tylenol i'm just the type of person that likes to have things in stock this is not because of the pandemic going on it's just i like to have certain things in stock especially if they go on sale i don't like running out of certain items my mom always taught me the same way and so did my mother-in-law so it's just i like to have these things and half of those will go to my in-laws these are new and then earlier i was just saying about the green grapes that my kids like the green grapes i've never seen these candy dreams and i'm a sucker for packaging so I had to see what is all the candy dreams about so it's black seedless grapes and then I'm always raving about this avocado oil spray um, I really like it somebody touching by looking at me like who is she how did she think she has crystal Evans, ma'am uh, okay so I picked up this avocado oil spray I always rave about it on my what's for dinners and I've had people tell me that they can't find it well I just looked it up it's local in my area so if you find it in your Costco I'm not sure if they sell it at other ones but they sell it locally so I don't know if it's just this Costco I'm not sure but this avocado oil spray is one of my favorites it's actually bigger um, so it costs a little bit more but totally worth paying the extra price for it um, because it's bigger Are and we then doing kebabs? Mm, we can make kebabs again everybody really liked them um i'll link down that video below that we made some chicken kebabs anyways uh we picked up some organic mixed squash and this um organic mixed squash i really like it because more of the zucchinis and i noticed this pack had more zucchinis than the yellow squash um great for a side dish i just put a little bit of butter or the avocado oil spray some seasoning 
and some soy sauce and it just it's a really good side dish my husband really likes it if not zucchini noodles really easy quick zucchini noodles uh for me so we picked up that one and then uh, yeah it, it is getting dark so sorry for the lighting and then i picked up this pineapple chunks um last month i picked it up at costco and um i i liked it it was okay it does cost more than aldi and it's more yellow it's not as sweet as the aldi kind or any other store brand or even like the dole brand um but it still works um so i like that that they have it here because i haven't been able to find any canned pineapple at aldi and if you're familiar with my channel i love having canned pineapple and then this is this the is first time a, this is not a bad buy it's something new yeah it's the first time i've seen that like it's crazy that this stuff is normal to find in your stores now but in this store they had a lot of items stocked up and i'm so sorry i didn't get to film um but one of them was these uh fabric face coverings so they're reusable we can wash them and this is perfect for my girls so this was re a really good buy let me see them really quick or get them closer to the camera that one so it comes with cotton. the cotton fabric and liner and then turn it to the side baby and it comes with three different designs it's like a polar bear a blue white polka dot and also a pink white white polka dot and then so sorry for the lighting i know it's horrible um but we're doing our best <laughs> and then we got sour cream because that's my daughter's favorite sour cream sour. brand no it's okay babe um but yeah they had a gallon of hand sanitizer like so many different items hand sanitizer we're lucky to find a few lysol sprays some and then sticks. um some drumsticks i needed some to make some mole and also like some chicken some barbecue? baked chicken huh chicken and barbecue oh and chicken oh, and barbecue God. my husband loves chicken legs so and chicken then thighs. he also loves chicken thighs that's going to be great for some other meals as well so if you guys are always curious of what i do with all this food you guys can go check out my what's for dinner that's where i show how i cook all of this food if you are interested in those kinds of videos and then this is the corn that i was looking for at the other uh the costco business center and i couldn't find it this is one of my favorite ones it's super sweet as it says and i found two so i'll see if my mother-in-law wants one if not we'll keep the other one and maybe we can freeze it i'm not sure let me know if you guys ever freeze fresh corn you guys always give me great tips tips on freezing items and then we got two summer hats aren't these adorable um normally we don't buy stuff for ourselves but lately we've just been a little treating ourselves and these are going to be pretty much to wear and go wear in our patio uh, yeah in our little patio little pretend and vacation just pour water into us or something. yeah <laughs> and then we picked up these leggings they're a three pack one is a size five six another one is a 10 12 and then the middle one is seven eight for all three of my girls we are a family of five and more specifically we only have girls three girls um i usually pick up their leggings at target but it's just gonna be easier lately just to pick up everything at costco if you haven't noticed and then of course there cannot yeah, be a costco uh, haul nice without without our premier protein shake they don't have the caramel one at the business center so we sure. definitely had to pick it up here and yeah this is our haul we're just going to deliver a few other items i also purchased another pack of green grapes but i ran into my sister-in-law and gave them to her because that was for her um but yeah this is going to be the end of our haul let me film a quick little outro okay most of the items that we have are in coolers um and this is how he has it all packed in there i know you guys love seeing how he has it nice and organized he does it the best he can and i think he does one great job doing it okay let's go do the outro thank you babe it is night time we should start working here oops <laughs> so i want to say thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this haul i do apologize i don't think i was able to film as much inside it was very crowded like i had mentioned earlier in both the business center and the regular costco and one i don't want to get in trouble and two i don't want to be filming people who do not want to be filmed next time i will try best see if maybe a different time maybe earlier earlier because we did come much later in the uh, afternoon in the evening and it was much crowded yes it was. but i hope you guys still enjoy it if you guys want to get notified each time that i upload a video 
go ahead and hit the bell and turn all and it'll notify you each and every time that I upload a video if that is something you guys are interested like I mentioned before if you guys want to see how we cook all this food go ahead and check out our what's for dinners or recipes that we make also too if you guys want to see more behind the scenes and more of our family our family um, channel is available we have the familia adventure vlogging channel yes. if that is something you guys are interested in watching so like I said thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up remember I do have a playlist of more Costco hauls and Costco shop with me's if you guys want to go check that out and I will see you guys on the next next one thanks for watching bye. bye you look so beautiful and i'm so lucky to be yours